Hi guys, this is Abhi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. In this video, we will discuss about circuit breakers. We will look into circuit breaker in detail, its components, working principle, and some circuit breakers which we are commonly using. What is a circuit breaker? Circuit breaker is a safety device or a switch that interrupts current in overload condition, ground faults, and short circuit faults. So, circuit breaker interrupts current. It protects our equipment from over current, and it prevents the risk of fire. It's like a fuse, but the difference between fuse and circuit breaker is once fuse is operated, then it cannot be reused. It has to be replaced. But circuit breaker can be reset. What are the basic components in a circuit breaker? First one is molded frame. Molded frame is an outer case or outer frame. In that frame, every component sits or it provides the housing for all other components. It provides insulation also. Second one is stripping or protective mechanism, also known as trip units. This is a sensing mechanism. It sends and provides the signal to the operating mechanism for opening and closing of circuit breakers. Third one is operating mechanism. This is the operating mechanism that used to open or close the circuit breakers. Fourth one is arc chute. We know if we suddenly disconnect the circuit breakers, then there will be an arc produced in it because of ionization of air. Arc chutes is located inside the circuit breaker, which is used to extinguish the arc produced to the sudden disconnection of circuit breaker and ionization. Let's look at some commonly used circuit breakers in the market. First one is MCB, second one is MCCB, third one is RCCB, ELCB, RCBO and ACB. We will examine one by one. First one is MCB. The full form is Miniature Circuit Breakers. Normally, it is used for the current range of 5 to 100 amps. Miniature Circuit Breaker or MCB, you can see inside a final distribution board, which is very commonly using everywhere. If the lever is in downside or in bottom position, it will be off position. In order to make the MCB on position, we need to push the lever to upside. This is the on position. You need a slight force to move the MCB from off position to on position. Imagine this MCB is in off position. Then what will happen? The current will be stopped at or interrupted at incoming terminal. So there is no current in the circuit because this MCB is in off position. If you switch on this MCB, what will happen? The current starts to flow. The current starts to flow through the MCB. The purpose of MCB is to provide the protection from over current. It provides two types of protection. One is short circuit protection. Then other one is overload protection. It is thermal and magnetic in operation. It operates in two ways, thermal as well as magnetic. Let's see a scenario. A three phase load of 6.7 kilowatt is connected to a MCB. The power equal to P equal to root 3 Vi cos phi. That is the equation. Using the equation, we can find the current. Current will be 11 amp. So my breaker selection is around 15 amps. I am using 15 amps MCB, three phase MCB for the protection of this load. Actually in three phase MCB, three wires will come. But for indication purpose, I am showing one phase only. Suddenly, my load increased to 67 kilowatt. I disconnected the load and I connected 67 kilowatt in the circuit. What will happen? The current will rise to 110 ampere from 11 to 110. This situation is called overload situation. In this scenario, the MCB will trip. It will come to off position. It will trip. Then there won't be any current flow in the circuit. This type of production is called overload production. Another type of production is short circuit production. Short circuit may occur because of faulty insulation. So in this condition, the excess of current, the unimaginable current will come into the circuit. What happened? The MCB will trip. In short circuit times also MCB will trip. This protection is called short circuit protection. Let's look at the components of MCB and the working principle. Every breakers have two parts in common. One is fixed contact. The other one is moving contact. 
these are the contacts through this electricity will flow another one is magnetic trip unit this is a short circuit protection mechanism the another one is arc chamber this is used to quench the arc next one is bimetallic strip this is a overload protection mechanism so in mcb this magnetic trip unit provide short circuit protection bimetallic strip will provide overload protection you can see there is a spring here and a piston is attached to it when we are switching on the mcb we will pull this terminal or pull this lever on the upside this will create a tension that spring will be compressed or tense this is a electromagnetic coil in the form of a spring along with that a cylinder is attached inside the cylinder there is also a metallic coil the current will flow from metallic strip to magnetic strip unit and the moving contacts like that so in normal condition the contact will be held up or pushed up what happened in terms of short circuit current when short circuit happens the current will increase rapidly we know current is flowing through the magnetic strip unit this is a coil so when current pass through a coil there will be a magnetic field produced this is a electromagnet inside the piston also there is a coil we know the same magnetic poles repel each other opposite magnetic poles attract together in normal scenarios also the piston is trying to move because of the electromagnetic effort and the repulsion due to the magnetic field but the tension of the spring is holding the piston together so piston cannot overcome the tension of the spring when short circuit happen excessive current will come this will create a huge magnetic field because of the electromagnetic effect the piston can overcome the tension force of the spring that is the piston will move down and hit the contact if the piston hit the contact what will happen it will activate that operating mechanism and mcb comes to off position and circuit will be broken because of that force the contact will be open and the lever will come down this is how the short circuit protection mechanism works in an mcb another type of protection mcb offering is overload protection bimetallic strip is used for the overload protection bimetallic strip is made of two metal combinations it has some specific properties if increase the load the current through the bimetallic strip also increases in this scenario the heat produced in the bimetallic strip also increases due to the heat produced in the bimetallic strip the bimetallic strip will bend this bending will disconnect the contact and interrupt the power supply this is how the over current protection mechanism works in an mcb other part is arc chamber what is arc chamber arc chamber is a arc extinguishing mechanism due to the sudden disconnection of contacts there will be an arc produced because of the ionization of air we have to extinguish this arc in that scenario arc chamber is used arc chamber will divide the arc you can see different different small small chambers inside the arc chamber so this arc chamber will divide the arc into small small portions and it will be extinguished once arc pass through the arc chamber the arc will be divided into small small portions and it loses its power or force and it will be extinguished another type of circuit breaker is mccb full form is molded case circuit breaker it is available or it is used from 15 to 630 amps circuits in general cases we don't use mccb inside our home we will use this in the sub main distribution board or main distribution boards this is more for industrial use not inside the villas or apartments purpose of mccb is same as mcb it provides short circuit protection as well as overload protection it is again thermal and magnetic in operation same as mcb the difference between mcb and mccb is mccb has remote closing and adjustable trip settings that is the operating current range can be adjusted the tripping time also can be adjusted and it can be operated remotely this is a difference between mcb and mccb mccb is used for a little bit high current application than mcb it is used in the sub main distribution boards or the main distribution boards if you want to buy an mccb then we have to specify two values one is rated current which is the maximum allowable current through that mcb then other one is short circuit breaking capacity maximum short circuit current which can withstand if you look at the mccb parts 
it will be almost same as the MCB. There will be an arc extinguisher, contacts, fixed and movable contacts, trip units, molded frame, then operating mechanisms. All these parts will come in the MCB also. The difference is we can adjust the settings, adjust the current rating or adjust the current flow and the tripping time here. The operation also same as MCB. It has a magnetic coil and piston arrangement which is used for the short circuit protection and a bimetallic strip will be there for the overload protection. There is hardly any difference in operation between MCCB and MCB. Another type of circuit breaker which we are commonly using is RCCB. Full form is residual current circuit breaker. Normally it is used in the operating current of 6 to 250 amps range. It is used in the final distribution board. We can find this in our distribution board inside our hole. It can trip from the leakage current starting from 30 milliampere to 300 milliampere. If human direct contact is involved then RCCB with the leakage current 30 milliampere is used. What is the purpose of RCCB? It is used for the human protection against electric shocks. The RCCB working based on the Kirchhoff laws. If the human direct contact is involved then the RCCB leakage current rating will be 30 milliampere. A human body can withstand the electric shock up to 30 milliampere. Above that current, it will be fatal to us. Wherever the chance of human contact or human touch is there, then we will use RCCB in a 30 milliampere leakage current range. Let's look at the working principle of an RCCB. You can see the terminals, the common parts, housing, everything in RCCB. I am not going that detail in RCCB. The main thing in RCCB is it has three coils, primary coil, secondary coil and sensing coil. If the circuit is closed, the current flows through primary and secondary coils. When the current passing through a coil, it will produce a magnetic field. So this primary and secondary coil will produce a magnetic field when current flows through it. The other one is sensing coils. As per the Faraday's laws, if a magnetic field associated with the change, an EMF will induce in it, a voltage will induce in it. Based on that, there is a chance of induced EMF in the sensing coil because of the magnetic field produced by the primary and secondary coil. But induced EMF produced by the primary coil will be in one direction and induced EMF produced because of the secondary coil will be in another direction. So this direction will oppose each other. So this nullify the EMF. In ideal cases or in normal cases, there won't be any EMF produced in the sensing coil because of the opposite direction of EMF produced by the primary and secondary coils. If the ground fault occurs or a contact with the human body occurs, the current will flow through the human body or other object to the ground. Then what will happen? There will be an imbalance in the magnetic field. The primary coil, the magnetic field will be high. The secondary coil, there will be a leakage. So the magnetic field will be less. So the opposite effect will not be there. So there will be an induced EMF produced in the sensing coil. So this induced EMF, it will trigger the relay attached with it. What is relay? Relay is an electromechanical switch. When a current passing through the relay, it will trigger the mechanism and the circuit will be open. Once there is a ground flow occurs, the relay will energize and it will cause the tripping of the RCCB, the circuit will be broken. This is the working principle of a RCCB. The another type of circuit breaker is ELCB. Full form is earth leakage circuit breaker. It's a voltage operated device. The other circuit breakers which we saw earlier all are current operated device. This ELCB is voltage operated device. It's an outdated circuit breakers. Nowadays very few people use voltage operated ELCB. In earlier days the current operated protection device for earth leakage also called ELCB. This made a confusion so now the current operated circuit breakers is called RCCB. The voltage operated earth leakage protection device is called ELCB. In ELCB, we have four terminals, phase, neutral and other two extra terminals for earth. This earth terminal is connected to electromagnetic relay, which is the tripping mechanism inside ELCB. One earth terminal is connected to the equipment body, then other one is directly connected to the ground. When earth leakage current passes through the tripping terminal and tripping coil, it will activate the mechanism and ELCB will trip. ELCB has some disadvantages. That's why it is not common now. 
First one is it cannot sense the current leakage from face to any other earth body. ELCB only trips when the current is passing through a trip coil. Trip coil is connected to the body of that equipment. Face to body leakage only the ELCB will trip. It cannot prevent electrical shock in case of touching the face conductor directly. Same scenario. ELCB will trip only when there is a leakage from face to equipment body. So it cannot prevent electrical shock from direct touching of the face conductor. We know it only trips there is a current passed through the trip coil or the earth conductor. It requires an extra connection with the body of the equipment and earth. This is also adding the cost. That's why it's also a demerit. Next type of circuit breaker is RCBO. Full form is residual current operator circuit breaker. It is normally used in a range of 6 to 100 amp circuits. RCBO is used for protection against overload, short circuit and earth leakage fault. That is it's a combination of MCB and MCCB. We know MCB is used for overload protection and short circuit protection. ELCB or RCCB is used for earth leakage protection. RCBO is a combination of MCB and RCCB. It can be used for overload, short circuit and earth leakage protections. Let's look at an RCBO structure. In RCBO, left side you can see the elements of an MCB. You can see the solenoid coil along with the spring is here. This is a part of MCB. Then a thermal protection by metallic strip. This is also there in the MCB. Then right side you can see arc chamber. It is used to extinguish the arc produced due to the sudden disconnection of terminals. Then fixed and moving contacts is there in almost all the breakers. Then electromagnetic coil. We have seen electromagnetic coil in the ELCB primary, secondary and sensing coil. So electromagnetic coils is also part of RCBO. It's a combination of MCB and RCCB. MCB parts is also there then RCCB part also there. In some countries RCBO used as a incomer for the final distribution boards. Another type of circuit breaker is ACB. Full form is air circuit breaker. ACB normally ranges from 800 ampere to 10 kilo ampere. ACB used in high current applications. Normally incomer for LT panel like that. In ACB, air is used to extinguish the arc produced by the ionization. We will do a detailed video on ACB later. This is for your basic understanding. That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about circuit breakers, operating principle and working. See you in the next video. Bye.